there and Happy New Year! Welcome to Big Freakin' Toys. I'm Mac Daddio. And I'm Pop Tart. And today we're going to talk about the central character from the 2012 blockbuster The Dark Knight Rises. This is Hot Toys' excellent figure of Batman. I thought it was Morgan Freeman. Sleep in heavenly peace! The Christopher Nolan Batman trilogy brought the character of Batman back to life from the cinematic graveyard and moved him into a much more gritty and realistic and mature universe. Hot Toys has done several notable figures from this trilogy, and one of their best efforts to date is The Dark Knight Rises Batman. It also happens to be one of their few figures from their very limited edition Deluxe Figure series. The Deluxe figures have better packaging, accessories, and better features that are a definite step up from their regular movie masterpiece series. And so now we're going to get started by talking about the packaging. One of the things that sets Hot Toys apart from other toy manufacturers is definitely the packaging. And Hot Toys deluxe figure lineup has definitely raised the bar of excellence when it comes to the packaging of these limited edition figures. The packages are much easier to get into with a magnetic enclosure on the side and they also have a contour cut foam insert where the figure rests as opposed to a plastic tray. It makes it much easier to get the figure in and out of the box. It also presents the accessories that come with the figure in a nice light as well. Again, they're much more easy to get to because they're not inside the tray. Now underneath the foam there's usually a plastic tray that holds the base and what other minor accessories might come along with that. This is definitely a perfect example of Hot Toys Deluxe Packaging. It offers easy access to the figure, much more expansive box, great protection, and it's definitely a step up from the standard packaging for their movie masterpiece line. I'm not crazy about the outside of this box, so I would have preferred the colors to be reversed. Maybe a gloss black finish with the emblem and the cracks that are done around the packaging in a matte gray. But overall, it's a great box and it serves the figure well, and that's why we gave it a 4 out of 5. We've talked before how sculpt can make or break a figure, and in this particular figure, there's two different sides to the sculpt. There's two heads that come with this figure, the first of which is the cowled Batman head, and as far as sculpt is concerned, this likeness is pretty good. Of course, you only see a little bit of Christian Bale's face in this, but the accuracy of the helmet itself is pretty well done. The other part of the sculpt on this figure is, of course, the Christian Bale head. Now, the Christian Bale head has a pretty good likeness, but the features are much harsher and much older looking than Christian Bale was in the film. Of course, they were trying to get an aged Batman Bruce Wayne look, but this one went a little too far. He looked like he was almost a skeleton of, his, of himself. One of the other things to consider with sculpt is the height of the figure, and this figure it looks like it's about the right height compared to some of the other 1-6 scale figures. Now Hot Toys is very good about making sure that the height of the figure matches the perceived height of the character, and in this regard it looks pretty accurate when compared to figures like Superman or other figures in the 1-6 scale line. Overall, we feel that you're more likely to display this figure with the Batman head than with the Bruce Wayne head, so the Bruce Wayne likeness wasn't so crucial to this figure. It's still a great sculpt, and it definitely looks like Christian Bale, it's just not to a perfect degree. And that's why we gave this figure a 4 out of 5. Artisans at Hot Toys definitely have their work cut out for them with every figure that they do. Now we talked about the sculpt of Christian Bale, but I want to talk about the paint job here now. And the paint, unfortunately, tends to accentuate the gauntness of his face a little bit too much on this sculpt. He looks a little too old in his face. Now the face is just one aspect of this figure, and of course we have the Christian Bale head on here for the Bruce Wayne likeness. But this is the part where the paint is the most crucial. Of course there are other touches of paint throughout this figure, 
both on the accessories and the base and on the costume itself that really make the paint job stand out. If you look at it closely, you can tell that there are some portions of the costume that are replicating a carbon fiber-like effect, mostly across the chest and on the panels on his arms. And of course, there's panels all along his body armor, along the legs and the back and the front, where there's a slightly lighter shade of gray painted on it to really accentuate the armor and really make it stand out. The deluxe figure comes with a great base too. This base actually has a more of a diorama look with the concrete and the snow and the Batman emblem definitely gives it great display options for this figure. Overall, our issues with the Christian Bale paint job wasn't enough to detract from the great paint job on the armor and the base and all of the other accessories that came with it. So we gave this figure a 4 out of 5 for the paint job. The most obvious thing you're going to do when you purchase a Hot Toys figure is display it on a shelf in some sort of pose. And in order to do that, you're going to need a great amount of articulation. With this figure, yes, in some points it has amazing amount of articulation, but in others, not so much. The most amazing points of articulation are the head, the hands, the knees, the elbows, and the feet. But where it's restricted the most are the shoulders and the hips. Because of his costume's limitations and restrictions, you can't move his hips into a sitting position or move his elbows anywhere above his chest. Because of that, his posing ability is only limited to standing positions. But there is a plus side to this articulation. His head is easily maneuverable, and that's because he has a magnetic socket. The reason why his head is held on by a magnet is so that you can easily access the parallel eyeball rolling system using a special tool. Because of the costume's restrictions, we were severely limited in the poses we could make him do. So because of this, we gave him a 3.5 for articulation. In this category, this figure really shines because this outfit is almost a complete representation of the costume. All of the panels are somehow adhered to the rubber suit and in the areas where it is easily posable, you can definitely see it flexing. The cape is just the right kind of material and it's not too thick so that it flows really nicely over the figure. The outfit comes with two different belts, one of which has special magnets for some of the accessories that come with him. The other one has a great deal of flexibility. It actually has flexible joints in each one of its pieces. Overall, this is a great costume. It's definitely very authentic and it looks just like the costume from the movie and that's why overall we gave it a 5 out of 5. This is the one area where the deluxe figures really shine. Now you'd expect Bruce Wayne to have lots of toys to play with. He comes with a lot of accessories that are seen in both The Dark Knight and The Dark Knight Rises. One of those bits from The Dark Knight is the sticky bomb gun, which actually does fold apart and snap together and then fold back up. It comes into two pieces that is held magnetically to one of the belts. He also comes with the EMP gun along with a little clip that will clip it to the bat pod if you happen to be lucky enough to have that vehicle. He also comes with a grappling gun which fits on the back of the flexible belt and then is held out of sight underneath the cape. And one other special feature that is unique to this figure is that he comes with two replaceable mouths in addition to the one on his cowl. These mouths are removed with a special tool that you use for his eyeballs that pops the little mouthpiece out of the cowl and then you replace it with a different one. Overall, this is a great number of accessories for any billionaire playboy to use while roaming the streets at night terrorizing criminals, and that's why we gave this category a 4.5 out of 5. This category could almost be split into two different subcategories. With the Bruce Wayne head, it doesn't shine nearly as much when compared to the prototype photos. The prototype figure actually has a much better likeness of Christian Bale as Bruce Wayne than the head that came with the released figure. But when you compare the photographs with the cowled figure, 
the likeness is nearly spot on. Of course, with the different mouths being swapped out, you get a lot of different expressions that are typical of Christian Bale in that cowl, and the comparison is really, really good. The costume is nearly identical to the photographs anyways, but we felt the Christian Bale likeness is really where this figure fell down the most, so we gave this figure a 4 out of 5 for the comparison. Overall, this is a great deluxe figure from Hot Toys. It's a little light on the accessories, but the costume and the detail of the accessories really shine out on this. And that's why we gave this figure a 4 out of 5 score. It's a great figure, it's going to look great on a shelf, and it's a great start toward collecting the really top-notch Hot Toys figures in their deluxe line. You can find these and other great Hot Toys products at Sideshow Collectibles. That's www.sideshowtoys.com. They're the official U.S. distributor for Hot Toys. They have a great selection of Hot Toys figures. You can also check out the Hot Toys site. That's hottoys.com.hk to see all the new releases and a great archive of figures that they've released over the last five years or so, including all the figures from the Christopher Nolan Batman movie trilogy. And our question for this video is, who is your favorite actor to portray the character of Batman, either in the movies or the TV shows? And if you say George Clooney, we're dead to me. So be sure to check out our Facebook page and give us a like. And subscribe to us on YouTube. So until next time, I'm Mac Daddio. And I'm Pop-Tart. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you again real soon. Good night. Right, I'm gonna get a pizza, so I'll see you later. She's gone. <sighs> I've reviewed my own figure. Because I'm Batman! Ow!